Coming up tonight, get ready for it. Tomasic's latest mass distribution will start next Thursday, August 26. Oversubscribed, more than 10,000 applicants are vying for 459 BTO flats in Haogang. And changes to MediShield Life will see more cancer patients getting help paying for their outpatient treatments. This is The Straits Times Newsnight. Good evening, I'm Dylan Ang. More masks coming your way. Each Singapore household will be able to collect free surgical and N95 masks at 131 supermarket outlets island-wide from next Thursday, August 26. The distribution exercise announced by Chief Executive Ho Ching is Tamasic Foundation's fifth of its Stay Prepared initiative, which was introduced to help prepare communities for emergencies such as COVID-19. Now, each household will receive 50 medical-grade surgical masks and 25 N95 respirator masks. You'll be able to collect them at supermarket chains like Sheng Siong and Fairprice, as well as selected CapitaLand malls by bringing either a physical or electronic copy of your SP Group utility bill. It will be scanned and recorded for the issue of masks. Don't miss out, the collection will run till September 26. All seven BTO projects in five estates launched last week by the Housing Board in its third sales exercise for the year are oversubscribed according to checks by The Straits Times. Four-room flats in Haogang in particular saw one of the largest number of applicants for a non-mature estate in recent years. 459 such flats are on offer across two projects, Haogang Citrine and Coven Wellspring, which attracted a whopping 10,602 applicants as at 5pm today. This means that only one in more than 17 first-time applicants will get a unit. Stiff competition in Jurong East as well, with more than 11 first-time applicants competing for each of the 244 room units. That said, in comparison, competition is slightly less stiff in the mature estates of Kalang Wampo, Queenstown and Tampanese. And changes to Singapore's compulsory national health insurance scheme will see more cancer patients paying less for their drug treatments. From next year, MediShield Life will pay up to $9,600 a month for outpatient cancer treatment, up from $3,000 now. The government will also subsidise more cancer drug treatments and extend subsidies to more people. It means that 90% of subsidised cancer patients will be able to have their outpatient treatments fully covered, up from 70% today. And taking a look at Singapore's daily COVID-19 numbers, 56 new cases were confirmed today, 52 locally transmitted and 4 imported. Of the local infections, 38 are linked to previous cases and 14 are currently unlinked. Two Singapore permanent residents who met while they were on the same flight from India have been sentenced to three weeks jail for breaching their stay-home notices while they were staying on the 16th floor of Oasia Hotel Novena. Bojanki Suresh Naidu and Bharti Tushiram Chowdhury arranged to meet at her room at about 12.30am on March 20th. They were found out after he found himself locked out of his room and had to call security for help. A housewife who forced her Indonesian domestic helper to shower with the door open in 2017 and get dressed in front of open windows has been sentenced to 15 months and two weeks jail. Rosdiana Abdurrahim, a mother to a pair of nine-year-old twins, was also ordered to pay the victim, Ms. Mayang Sari, $2,500 in compensation. Rosdiana was convicted of six charges, including for voluntarily causing hurt and insulting Ms. Mayang's modesty. Now, tomorrow, August 18th at 4pm, now that's the deadline Malaysia's king has set for 220 MPs to declare their choice for the next Prime Minister. This comes as the king summoned all the major party leaders to the palace this afternoon. 
The monarch faces the daunting task of appointing a new government with no leader so far able to present the 111 needed for a simple majority in parliament. The move comes after Mohidin Yassin stepped down as premier on Monday. Let's take a look at what's been trending on social media today. Chinese-Canadian pop star Chris Wu has been formally arrested and charged with rape by Beijing authorities in a scandal that's drawn widespread condemnation on social media. One of China's most influential young celebrities, the 30-year-old, was accused of date rape by 19-year-old student Du Meiju when she was just 17, resulting in a barrage of public criticism and luxury brands dropping deals with him. More than 24 women in China have since spoken out online with similar stories of being pressured to have sex with or said they were sexually assaulted by Wu. Are you ready to tidy up your life? Marie Kondo is back. The streaming giant Netflix has released the trailer for a brand new series starring the Con Marie founder nearly three years after we first welcomed her in Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. Sparking Joy with Marie Kondo is a three-episode series that premieres on August 31st and we'll see Kondo return for more organising adventures as she shares her life-changing method with three deserving businesses, their owners and employees. Expect to see lots of tears, laughter and heartwarming moments. Now, I really like the Tidying Up series, so can't wait to see what's in store this time around. And before we go, good at where's Wally? Time to test your skills out with this mural displayed outside the float at Marina Bay during the National Day period. Familiar landmarks, pop culture references and even a beloved satay stall in Kalang have a place in the mural adapted from artist Lee Sin Lee's installation titled In Our Space. Lee, who is chief illustrator for this year's NDP, shared that the work has been updated to include notable incidents over the past two years, such as the discovery of two shipwrecks near Pedra Branca and the appearance of a mandarin duck in Hauga. And that wraps up the Straight Times News tonight. Do visit straightsimes.com to see more news and videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the button below. Keep safe. I'll see you tomorrow.